You are watching MTV Buri Hamwe. This one is ready. I've just launched it to go and serve a school in Duero. Yes. I know for sure, in the line with the present school, to add value to our local products, in line with the present school, to create employment for our young people, METO has done this. A number of buses are now serving. They have no Gulu. Yes. Is one of the universities that has benefited national medical stores, yes. civil aviation authority, yes. and, and many other institutions, Uganda prisons, Uganda prisons mm -hmm. 
I have Barara in Barara University. I'm very, very happy, Mzee, yes. for, for you mm. for heeding the call of His Excellency the President. Exactly. And, uh, and uh, it, it many people, who, while other companies are working, right, you right. must run so right. that together we should be able to catch up with the speed. The demand is going to be very big. Yes. We requested that almost all schools must, no, no, no school should use a lorry now for carrying students. No school. Yes. That is a directive that cabinet took. So it means all schools must now carry their children, their students, in a more dignified way, and the buses, therefore, are the ideal vessels for carrying students. My name is Metu Katavazi. I am the founder and the director of this company, Metu Bus Industries of Namanve. Uh, we started the fabrication of buses in 2018. And uh, in March 2019, His Excellency uh, President Museveni opened the uh, our factory here at Namanve. And uh, we have been uh, rece receiving a lot of support from His Excellency the President from that time. So we thank, first and foremost, we thank His Excellency the President for supporting and uh, leading the industrialization of Uganda. Now, we have, we make buses different types. We can make a bus from four meter long to 18 meter long, depending on the customer, what he wants. We can make a 33 seater bus, 37 seater bus, 42 seater bus, 51 seater bus, 55 seater bus, 62-seater bus, 67-seater bus, the ordinary buses, the Kampara Mbarara, they are 67-seater, can make 72-seater, 80-seater, and on and on. For various customers, such as schools, transporters, a special purpose buses, VIP buses, uh, 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 office buses for staff transport, and, and on and on. Uh, what I'm saying, you need any type of bus, you can come here, we fabricate it for you. We design it and fabricate it, because we use local steel, local material and add value. In this bus, when we make this bus, our value addition in this bus is 55%. Our local input, 55%. So we can be proud to say this bus is made in Uganda. When you reach 55%, this is a product of Uganda. Um, uh, I will give an example for the last um, four months. We have made several buses. Give you a few examples. A bus for global transporters of Umbarara. A bus for link transporters. Buses for Larem bus service of Guru. Bus for Guru University. Bus for Umbarara University. Buses for, you know, a, a, a product called Kazere products. Kazere products. We make a marketing buses, special purpose, special purpose buses for them, for marketing. Um, we, um, we have made bus for schools. This is a bus for Timuna schools in Luero, and we are making three of them. We have made bus for, for 
for prison, Uganda prison service, national medical stores, minister of health, and on and on and on. We request that government give us more orders, for example, to fabricate buses for schools. We have thousands of schools in Uganda, government schools. We request the government to give us orders to make buses for all of those uh, uh, schools so that we can continue to build our capacity uh, uh, as a local producer of buses. What is your production capacity? We, we, let us say, per month, if orders are there, we can fabricate 20 buses a month if orders are there. When we went inside there, right now, we are fabricating nine buses, nine buses. And if you come by end of, of December, these will have gone, the nine. Other, maybe 10 would be in. So when there is orders, 20 buses a month we can do. Mm. Lastly, yes. in terms of um, cost effectiveness, mm. how do you compare the costs between these and It is, it is, <coughs> you sit up like you say, mm -hmm. the issue of cost, you know, these buses, they are in different categories. There is the ordinary standard bus, there is a deluxe bus, there is a VIP bus, and also generally every customer comes with his specifications. It is not, a, you cannot put a cost before you talk to the customer to see what he wants. Every customer, because we are here in Uganda, people, they want a custom-made bus. I want this in my bus, I want this in my bus. <laughs> so, but we try uh, our best to see that our buses become cheaper than those imported. We are continuing to bring the price more and more down so that we make local manufacturing more meaningful. Mm. Uh, yes, we have a challenge, but we, when we have a challenge, we have where to go to. The Uganda Investment Authority is very helpful you have just seen the minister he has been here. This is a minister in charge of transport, in charge of what we do. But you can see he can come here. He makes time to come here. So you can see we have a lot of government support. And also, as I told you also from the beginning, our number one supporter is His Excellency, the president. Every time he would always wish to find out how we are progressing, we always tell him our challenges, and he always give us the solutions. Yes. Yes. Mm. Group of industries. Yes. I know for sure, in line with the president's call, to add value to our local products, in line with the president's call, to create employment for our young people, Metro has done this. A number of buses are now serving in the universities. I have known Gulu yes. is one of the universities that has benefited. National Medical Stores, yes. Civil Aviation Authority, yes. and, and many other institutions. Uganda, prison. Uganda prisons. Mm -hmm. I have Mbarara seen University. In Mbarara University. I'm very, very happy, Mze, yes. for, for you for heeding the call of His Excellency the President. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, many people who have been doubting mm. that local companies cannot do this, must now start believing. Because seeing sometimes is believing to many people. I know they have now seen and they are going to believe. My prayer is that you lost a lot of ground yes. during the time normal has returned. I want you to run while other companies are walking. Right. You right. must run so right. that together we should be able to catch up with the speed. The demand is going to be very big. Yes. We requested that almost all schools must, no, no school 
should use a lorry now for carrying students. No school. That is a directive that cabinet took. So it means all schools must now carry their children, their students, in a more dignified way, and the buses, therefore, are the ideal vessels for carrying students. Yes. So now you, as our local entrepreneur, you are well positioned mm. to really out-compete those who want to import buses here. Yes. And, and everything will be done yes. to give you that support. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's mm. the position. Mm. So I thank you so much.